of so many teams. Shane Graham ready to get us rolling. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Ravens offense going to work. And as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. And what a sophomore season he had for the Cardinals. Pretty much swept every major quarterback award, including the Heisman Trophy. And we spend a lot of time talking about his legs. Formidable. He can run the ball like few others, but the key to everything for him is ability to be accurate from the pocket. And now the Ravens set to go on first and ten. They'll start by running the option to the right. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. His big Trey Flowers getting in there that time for the sack. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. From the gun, Jackson. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's Sam Cook now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Take it at the 37. Great blocking, nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. Intercepted by the Ravens. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, get a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. A gain of four. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain, did it to perfection. And a big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48, and his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. You got to know as a quarterback, that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position, and he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. He's going to take another shot here. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. A big play there, 52 yards, and the Pats have taken the early lead. The 
Baker on for the point after. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Well, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Shane Graham now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the 10. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 23. This Ravens offense heads back out there led by Lamar Jackson. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Throwing on second and long. Jackson. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Trey Flowers able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Patriots 7, Ravens nothing. Back-to-back -back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. From the gun, Jackson. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Trey Flowers giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. It takes a touchdown-saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Four-yard line. Jackson on first down. Left side here to Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. First and goal at the six-yard line. Operating from the gun. Jackson, flush to his right. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Randy Moss there to make the grab. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. The kicker on for the... He was simply incredible at finding the end zone during his tenure in the NFL. Holds the NFL single-season touchdown reception record with 23 back in 2007, partner. Well, you also reminded me that Randy Moss set the rookie record with 17 touchdown grabs all the way back in 1998. Well, you remember that season? He felt he had so much to prove to the league. He didn't go as high in the draft as he thought he should have, and he tried to make everyone else pay. And here's Shane Graham now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken from about the 12. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. On the return, the Ravens take Lamar Jackson heading back out as we check out. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start out here with the option left. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react. Even Blitz coming, and down he goes. Lamar, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. 
from the gun. Jackson, a short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards. And it's under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Trey Flowers, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. This is fielded at the seven. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. One of the best punt returns we'll see, 93 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. The kicker on for the point. Partner, the old rules about not fielding punts inside your own 10, those things are way out the window, aren't they? Yeah, they say we'll put your heels on the 10-yard line, but when you return it, maybe your coach doesn't say anything to you, right? Yeah, I think a lot of special teams coach, if they've got a special guy, they'll say, yeah, okay, you can go to the 8. But this one, he really had some guts. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And on the return, the Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. In the second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself, and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people. Lean on your teammates. Find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this is getting... And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And he fields it cleanly. And there he goes again. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. 63 yards on a punt return score. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Extra point. Well, if you're into cheesy movies, you would title this one. I have to remember, wouldn't you? His second return touchdown of the game. What if I'm not into cheesy movies? Well, go ahead and get into it, man, because I just did it, and you're going to green light that one. <laughs> How about those returns? Maybe they ought to think about not kicking him. Yeah, the they might, might want to go away from him in the future. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Justin so here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Takes it at the seven. He gets away from one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. On the return. 
The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 20. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. And now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Another run with Sanders. Oh, what a move. He takes this for three to the 29. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from the lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. On first down, Sanders. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. He's on the carry. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. of midfield. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. They'll run, it's Sanders. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that's the type of run that you'll live with. In this game, he's had a good number of carries. He's just been unable to really break off anything substantial. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So the Patriots with a football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That's good. Two yards, good enough for a first. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Now a carry for Sanders. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. And here's Shane Graham now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Ravens offense back out there. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Devin Duvernay, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down to throw again. 
Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Has been a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. A great return there. Bobbin and weaving his way for 31 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Four yard line. First down, Sanders. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And just like that, another ultimate challenge has been defeated. Savor the victory, if only for a moment. Because you know there's always another challenge right around the corner.